So in this problem, we're told to find the general indefinite integral you see for the constant of integration of the integral secant of t times uh, 6 secant of t plus 7 times the tangent of t dt. So let's start by rewriting our integral. And I'm going to rewrite this by multiplying this out. So secant of t, uh, if I multiply this out, so 6 times the secant of t uh, times the secant of t is going to be secant squared of t. Then if we multiply secant of t times tangent of t, we're going to get plus 7 times the secant of t times the tangent of t. So let me write that up here. 6 times secant squared of t plus 7 times the secant of t times the tangent of t dt. And so basically I just rewrote this in this way. That's going to make it easier to solve. So basically what we need to do is take the antiderivative of this. So let's start with uh, taking the antiderivative of secant squared of t. So secant squared of t, we know that the derivative of tangent of t is equal to secant squared of t. So that means the antiderivative of secant squared of t is going to be tangent of t. So we know the antiderivative of secant squared of t is tangent of t. So and then we're just multiplying by 6. It's going to become 6 times the tangent of t plus, and then let's find the antiderivative of 7 times the secant of t times the tangent of t. So we know that the derivative of secant of t is going to be equal to secant of t times the tangent of t. If that's the case, then that means the antiderivative of secant of t times the tangent of t is going to be secant of t. Then we're multiplying by 7, so it's just going to be 7 times the secant of t. And so now we got this. This is going to be the antiderivative, but we have to add constant at the end. So we add plus c. And so the final answer to this problem is just going to be secant times the tangent of t plus 7 times the secant of t plus t, or plus c.